Let's see if it works. Let's focus on something like you guys. Oh! Oh, it works. Oh, it works. G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here. And today I want to help you solve the same problem I recently had to solve in terms of off-camera wireless flash units fitting to your Nikon Z series camera. So no matter if you have a Z5, Z6, Z62, Z7, Z72, or potentially a Z9, this camera flash setup will suit you and it's taken me forever. Now the reason this has become an issue is when I was shooting on a DSLR, I used to shoot with Yongnuo's flash system. And it was great, it was really wonderful, except it doesn't work on the Z series camera. And so I went in search of a solution and I emailed and I talked and I researched and I YouTubed and I Googled and I did everything I possibly could think of to find a solution. And gradually by pulling little bits and pieces of the plan together, I came up with what does work. Now the problem is Nikon used to have an off camera flash trigger that sat on the top of your camera and that would work with the Z series camera. It was called the SU4, but it's discontinued. They're not making it anymore. So Nikon are yet to come up with a solution, an in-house on-brand solution of wireless flash. Now, if I'm wrong about this, please tell me below, but what I needed is a trigger on top of the camera that would then wirelessly trigger three, if not more, but I only need three off-camera flashes at the same time. But those different flashes need different intensities, different brightness, different zoom capacities. So that was the challenge before us, and I found, I found a solution. And the solution is from Godox. Yes, and some of you are like, the solution's Godox. And yes, that's right. Solution is Godox. The X2T transmitter that comes in a Nikon flavor, a Canon, a Sony, a Fuji, and potentially others. You just need to make sure that it's got this symbol next to it as per your camera choice. And this clips on the top of your camera, nice and neat, just like so and locks into place there. Now it has an LCD screen on the back that enables you to go through all the menus to set up the trigger however you want it and to monitor what it's doing. It also has some channels on top of the trigger unit that enable you to quickly isolate which channel you want to change the settings to so you don't need to go over to those flashes. To do that it's got a scroll wheel just down here and a nice big fat on and off button on the side as well as a lock on top of your camera and it's got a hot shoe on top so you can actually mount a flash on top of this which will work with the other flashes that are wirelessly connected as well as physically connected to the top of the camera. The only other thing to say is it takes two AA batteries so you know the good old one just stick in the back of the remote control. Hello boys! Here it is, they fit right into this. Now this then triggers with a flash unit. And if you don't have the flash unit, why would you just buy a trigger? Now the best option I have found for the Z series is what's called TT685 series. And there's versions one and versions two, and I've got version two to future proof because I don't want to have to buy another flash. There's all sorts of other cool things that this flash unit does, including rapid fire and allowing you a big zoom range, but that's not for this video. It comes with a nice little bag that looks like this. And inside this nice little bag comes some little legs that look like this which go on the bottom of the flash and hold it steady. But I use flash stands and some umbrellas and a few other things. But if you're wondering, you get these two with it. Very cool, right? This flash also takes AA batteries, four of them. It can pop in the side and has this nice little stiff door that sorts things out for you. It's got an LCD screen on the back that's a little bit hard to understand as you're trying to work it out. But the key is, the trick is that in the bottom of the screen, it gives you almost a key. It tells you what buttons correlate to what functions you want. It took me ages to work that out. So use that and you won't have any problems whatsoever. Well, you may. You may? But let's hope you don't. With this, when you're linking it and pairing it with this, you need to do two things that are really important that took me a while to work it out. First of all, you do an auto scan on this and on this for the best channel. The results will be the same and then you select that channel. That channel I've chosen for where I am is 30. So I put 30 on here and 30 on here. Then you need to make sure, and this is really critical, otherwise it won't work, that the ID numbers that you can select for here is the same ID number to select for here. So you make sure your ID is the same here as it is here and then you need to make sure that this is for example in the same mode the same function so this is on TTL and that this is on TTL 
and away you go. Now this video isn't about how do you make the flashes work and all the different functions and systems and all the things you can do with these flashes. That's what this video is about. If you want that video, put a comment in the description below. But this is to tell you that there is a solution for the Z-Series Nikon camera and this is it. Thank you Godox, appreciate your work. Thank you Nikon for um, giving us great cameras that we can stick flashes on. <laughs> Thank you most of all for watching because I really enjoy hanging out with you and it means a lot that you click play and you'd watch this video and you'd watch all the ads which just puts a little bit more in my pocket at no cost to you. Watch the ads. Thanks so much for watching. If anything else could be helpful, put it in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you and meet with you there. And if you have any learning to add to this, let's bring it on. Let's make this a hub of learning for everyone. Thanks everybody. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.